Hi, Kelly from First Lutheran. And we are having our very first session of Eyes to See curriculum. And thank you for joining me. Before we start, I'd like to take a moment to have a quiet prayer and making ourselves open so we can feel God within us. So close your eyes, take a deep breath in, let it out, feeling your shoulders relaxing, allowing space to recognize that God is within us. We are able to make a stillness and feel the presence of God. And we pray that our time together will allow us to hear what he wants us to hear. And we feel his presence with us in this moment. Amen. So I love the story that goes through the whole Bible. There's so many incredible stories to help us learn um, about God and about loving people. And I will tell you, it was really fun for me to get these out. I made these probably 18 years ago when my kids, now I probably would not pick these pictures if I was making them today. So some of these pictures you'll look at and say, huh, I didn't really picture that. This is just one artist, but we're going to use them today and hear what God would like us to understand. At the very beginning of the Bible, the people that wrote the Bible believed that God was here before earth and that God was the one that separated water from land and created the moon and the stars and the water and the animals. We believe God was here. And then there's a story about a secret garden and God creating a special helper. We have stories about the very first rainbow. How cool is that? Imagine if you were the first one to see a rainbow. And we have a story about a tower that falls down. We have a story about new land, Sarah and Abraham, and the promise God made Abraham, the forever promise. We'll talk this year about the dreamers, Joseph. What a great story the secret messages, and the secret surprise visit he got from his family. All of these stories are to tell us that God has always been here in God's time. God loves us, and God will always be with us. And time continues. And when time continues, we hear of stories about babies in a basket and how they were slaves, God's people. And he spoke to them and he led them out and to create a great nation of people. And we'll hear stories about the 10 best ways to live that God provided his people. In Gideon, there's wonderful stories about trumpets and torches. And then Samson, what a fun story that is. With his long hair and he was so strong. Fantastic stories to let us know that God is always with us. And time continues. And we hear stories about the very first king, even though the prophet Samuel told him, you don't want a king. He's going to take your children and make them go into wars and take your money. And But they insisted. So God provided them the King Samuel. And then we hear a story of a young boy who topples a great giant. And he's anointed king as a very, very young person. I love this story because I think it's fantastic that God can see what we're capable of even when we're young children. And then we hear stories about Elijah and Elisha and a raven 
provides food and a jar, never ending flour and a jug with never ending oil in it. And then a beautiful chariot of fire going up into heaven. Okay, then we hear about a time when they are again captured God's people. And we hear a fantastic story about Daniel who spends a night with a lion. And he fares pretty well, I must say. And then they get to go back to their land and we hear a story of Jonah who spends some time with a whale. So much fun. And then in between, this is the First Testament, the Old Testament, people call it both. There's about 400 years before we get to understand about the life of Jesus. So after um, 400 years, we hear about the life of Jesus. Oh, people were excited. They were waiting for Jesus. And the first thing we know about is there was a secret, an angel told Mary. And there was good news told to shepherds. And there were wise people that heard all about Jesus being born. And then once Jesus becomes about your age, they will go on a journey, he and his family. And his family thinks he's lost, but really he's just with his teachers and teachers like Pastor Bill. And he didn't want to leave. And they found him and he said, didn't you know I'd be with my, with my teacher learning? And then Jesus lived um, about 30, he was about 33 years old. But when he became a young adult, he went to the Jordan and was baptized by his cousin, John. Some people thought John might be Jesus, but John told them no. No. And then for Jesus to do his mission, he got help. He had friends so that they could follow him. And one day they will tell the wonderful things that Jesus did and the amazing things he said. And one day we'll hear about a story around Palm Sunday a great parade where people put their coats out and palm branches and oh they said make way for the king but as time goes on god's time jesus had a last supper with those same friends it was very sad but jesus said some really amazing things there he said do this to remember me so when we have communion at church, we do it to remember the wonderful things Jesus did and the amazing things he said. And after Jesus was killed, there was great sadness, just great sadness. And then on Easter, we will hear about the wonderful surprise that God has in his time to share with us. After Jesus rose from the dead and surprised everybody, he wasn't able to stay with his friends very long. He needed to go up with his father, God. But he did leave the Holy Spirit with them. And the Holy Spirit is with us. Sometimes when we create that stillness, we're inviting the Holy Spirit to be with us, to guide us. And our hope in God's time, one time we will be united. We will be together again with God and there will be peace. No more wars, no more arguing, just peace. But this is in God's time. So we don't need to worry sometimes about how things happen or why they happen. We need to remember God is real. God loves us. God is always with us.
He provided Jesus so we knew who we could follow to show us how to truly love everyone. Thank you for joining me. God be with you. Amen.